Hello and welcome back. And in this short video, we're going to cover how to add the indicators to the chart and also configuring the user input. So let's get started. And as always, we can apply indicators in several different ways. We can either do it from the insert option on the uh, main menu at the top, or we can do it through the navigator. Let's go to the navigator, view navigator. And here we are, we're down to quantum. And we're going to apply the quantum currency strength indicator. We hold down the left button on our mouse. We drag and release. And this is the pop-up window that appears prior to the indicator installing to the chart. So on this occasion, we'll click OK. I'll come back to the user inputs in a moment. We click OK. I'm just going to close the navigator for a moment, shut that down. And I'm sure you remember from an earlier video to resize the currency strength indicator. If you take your mouse pointer up to the boundary between the chart and the indicator itself, you will see this little icon appear, the two little parallel lines with the arrow above and below. Hold down the button on your mouse, drag to resize and release, and we'll take it back up to the top again. There we go. So that's our resizing. And equally, if we want to resize the window itself, we take our pointer over to the boundary, to the edge of the chart. This arrow, double-headed arrow appears and we can hold down our button, our left button once again on our mouse. And we can resize that way like that. So now we have our indicator. We have one indicator on the chart. And if you right click on the on this now, this will pop, give you a pop up menu which says indicators list. If you left click on that, it will tell you the indicator that is applied to this particular chart. And here you can see we have the quantum CSI. Now, if we want to edit some of the user inputs, we left click on it. It changes to blue and we can go into edit. Click the edit button there. And this opens the window that was originally shown once we were installing it to the chart originally. This is exactly the same window where you will find the user inputs and various options to change. Various tabs here, all the indicators differ slightly. Uh, some have several inputs to change, others have very few. With the currency strength indicator, if we click on the inputs tab here, you can see the layout. This is the layout that you'll see on all the indicators. You have the variable which tells you what it is. And all of these are explained on the site. There are various pages on the mt4.quantumtrading.com site where you will find support pages which explain what each of these does. So you have a variable on the left hand side and on the right hand side you have an associated value. And in order to change any of these, all you do, this is the option to show the values on the currency strength indicator. This is the actual value which appears on the right hand leading edge. And this is currently set to true. In other words, they will appear. So if we want to change that, all we do is double left click You'll see you'll get a little drop down arrow appears and this will give you the options. And if we want to hide that, we just click that to false. And in the value field, you can see that has changed to false. If we're happy with that, we just click the OK button. And up here, we click the close button. And now the values which were down here have disappeared. If we want to add them back on again, simply right click left click on indicators list, left click on the quantum CSI, click on the edit button. Here we are back at this menu again. Double click, change it to true, click OK and close. And you can change all the other user inputs in exactly the same way. Now I'm going to do a separate video on the prefix and suffix option, but this is where you find it. So that's applying the currency strength indicator to that particular chart. So let's just move that over to the left. So we've got a bigger chart to play with here. 
and we'll left click hold drag that to resize it so we've got a much bigger chart window okay so let's add a few more indicators to this particular chart and this time we'll do it through the insert option so we'll go to insert indicators scroll down to custom which is where you find your quantum indicators let's add the quantum dynamic volatility indicator again you can see you have exactly the same sort of arrangement you've got uh, inputs here uh, very few to change on this particular indicator but you do it in exactly the same way just click OK that's now applied to the chart don't think we've got any volatility candles on that chart at the moment let's go and insert another indicator scroll down to custom let's put the uh, the pivots on click on that one again exactly the same and that's where you go and change your inputs we just click on that briefly there you can see we can have an offset value and we can change colors if we wish and it also tells you the release version as well there we go pivots have come on there let's add another indicator let's add the quantum trend monitor this time click OK we'll just resize that a little bit let's now add the down to custom let's add the tick volumes there we go let's add one more let's add the trends there we go so now we have several indicators applied to the chart when we change time frames of course they will follow and there we go we've now got some uh, volatility has been triggered there with a volatility indicator we've got our pivots we've got our our trends and we've got our trend monitor and we've got our tick volume and if you right click on the chart and now scroll down to indicators list this will display the indicators that you have on the chart so we have the dynamic volatility we've got pivots we've got trends we've got trend monitor and we've got the tick volumes and if you want to remove one from the chart all you do is simply go to let's select the trends for example and we want to go to delete and close and that indicator is then removed we'll just do one more indicators list let's suppose we want to take the uh, volatility off this time we delete and this will just leave us with the three indicators there and there we go so that's how to add and remove indicators from your chart and also to access the user inputs and to change the settings and all of those settings and inputs as i say are described on the site you'll find them at mt4.quantumtrading.com under the support pages there are full details of every single indicator with a support page to explain all the user inputs what they do and uh, how to set them but that's a quick video to show you how to apply the indicator how to remove the indicator and how to change the user inputs so i hope you've enjoyed that one thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon and bye for now